Hi, everybody. So this is your weekly uh, overview of what we're doing in class. So this is applicable to you if you are a parent or a student who's in quarantine or you just missed class this week. Um, so this will tell you what we're doing um, in Ms. Garrison's pre-AP English 2 class. So um, if you, I got a couple emails saying, Ms. Garrison, I haven't seen any assignments on Google Classroom. That is because we've been map testing on Monday and Tuesday. Um, so there wouldn't be anything that I needed to post on Classroom. It took the whole class period. Um, and you will make that up when you return. I, I got an email from someone that said um, that we were gonna try to figure out how to help you with that. But for right now, just don't worry about um, taking care of that. Oh, um, for you guys in pre-AP English 2, remember that you're supposed to be um, learning these roots, okay? And I am adding these on Google Classroom for you specifically at home um, in your own little section. So I'm going to use um, my zero hour, but it's the same on every Google Classroom. So even if you're not my zero A class, Yours will look the same, okay? So when you go to classwork, over here at the left, Greek and Latin roots, it's in topics. Um, and I will update this slide, okay? So it's going to be this same slide that I'll just add another um, slide to. So these were your two words over week one. Um, and then these are all the ones for this week. So um, we really started hammering them this week. And um, if you notice this little note over here, it says you will have a quiz over 10 roots every third week. Week one and two gives you seven roots so far. So I would like to probably just quiz you when you return, um, just for the sake of uh, ensuring fidelity <laughs> and the temptation not to um, look up roots while you're testing from home. Not that you would do that, of course, but this is where you study those, okay? Now that quiz will be a word that includes um, a root from this list. And there, there will be a word for each root and you will have to match that word to the definition. So it's not gonna be, what does crone mean? And you put time. It's gonna be a word that includes this root and you would um, match it to the definition based on your understanding of what the root means. So, Anyway, so there's that. So that is something that you need to be continually um, studying and looking for, okay? And that quiz, um, I think I have it slated for next week. Okay, so map testing, Greek and Latin roots, and then um, today is when uh, we really took off. Now today is Wednesday the 2nd, that's when I'm filming this, and it is an A day. Um, and my B days will start this tomorrow on Thursday, September 3rd, okay? So um, we did a virtual library tour. If you are a student that I have at West, at Bentonville West High School, we will go to the library tomorrow, Thursday. Um, and if you are a BHS student, um, the library is not ready for us to tour it yet, but um, there is this uh, video. Now this video is posted on Google Classroom for you and it details how to check out books. So if I'm back on my Google Classroom, I go to Classwork, and down here where it says Virtual Library. Now I have updated this for you. Um, there is, now if you're a West student, yours will, yours will say Bentonville West for the um, online catalog, but there's access to the public library, the Bentonville Public Library, your school library, the virtual library, and then this is new for you, okay? Pretty soon I'm going to ask you to find an individual book to start reading and there will be some assignments associated with that. So this is how you get a book during these crazy times. Um, so um, whichever school you go to, remember I'm a split teacher, so I teach at both schools. Uh, this would be how you would access that. This would be how you would access BPL. Overdrive okay, is, a, is a program that the school owns that allows us to um, check out online books. And then my virtual library. Now this is also linked back here on here. Now there's something different with the virtual library. So on the first day of school, I showed you this, but it wasn't very interactive. Um, and I have added something to it. Um, you know, if you're looking for a book for me and you're like, I just cannot, it's hard for me to just know what I want. I need to see a physical book. I need to see a cover. I mean, this could be kind of 
you know, this is where you search this website. So this, this could be hard to find one, especially if, if you're not an avid reader. Um, so this is my attempt to um, help you. Okay, so these are like books I would suggest on this virtual library. And what is new is that you can click on the book and it will take you to a synopsis and you can read reviews on that book um, on Goodreads. Okay, so if I clicked on All the Light We Cannot See on Miss Garrison's virtual library here, I was like, well, let's see what this one's about. I want to read about it. You can read a synopsis. Um, and then you can read what other people said about it, okay? Um, this book has the most hauntingly beautiful prose, which is very true. Um, anyway, so this, um, to me, would be a good um, resource for you if you are unsure of what you want to read or you need an idea. And that is all under virtual library, under your topics on um, Google Classroom, okay? That's just an, an update for you on that. Now, classwork this week. So we are in week two. Now, um, my zero hour class, I recorded the lesson today that I'm about to talk about. And this is for you if you're at home in quarantine or just absent. Um, this is what we did. And you can watch this now. I mean, it's a full class period almost. It's 55 minutes. So you can watch it and skip through it, um, but this tells you some information about an assignment um, that I expect from you soon. So for my um, BHS kids, this is due next um, Wednesday, September 9th, so a whole week from today. If you're West, ignore that deadline. That'll be a little different for you. Um, but in this video that I posted, we went through um, annotating the poem and then we did a pair deck, um, some questions to get you thinking before you write your own beginning, middle and end. And this is the assignment right here that you will turn in for a grade. OK, um, now if you uh, you can read these directions, I heavily encourage you just to watch the lesson um, that I posted today. OK, you can skip through it. You don't have to you know, watch every second, but you can see um, how you're supposed to go about this. All right. OK, um, I'm here for you. So I know that you're probably stressed sitting at home, worried about school. Um, and if you're not, well, great. But if you are stressed about it, um, please reach out to me. Um, you are you know, just as much my student. My responsibility is the students that are here physically. So please don't hesitate to text me on Remind or email me. We can do a Google Meet video chat if you need to. Um, but the most important thing is that you're healthy. And um, then second most important is that you're able to keep up and stay connected. So that is the weekly overview for this week. And um, that's all that I intend to accomplish this week. And um, I will post another video most likely next Wednesday for next week. Um, I'm posting them midweek because sometimes crazy things happen and I don't want to post something on Monday and you do an assignment that we didn't get to. So these are going to come about midweek. Okay, well, have a good day and a happy Labor Day weekend and hopefully I see you soon.